that was a pretty bad day for me and my drone. I really could have benefited from this next thing that we're going to start carrying, the PixHawk 4 Advanced Autopilot System from Holy Bro. The PixHawk 4 runs the PX4 Autopilot stack, which is one sub-project of the Drone Code Project, an open source UAV platform that covers all aspects of autonomous mission planning and tracking. But it isn't just for aerial applications, it will do virtually any type of autonomous vehicle, including ground and submersibles. What comes in the box with the PX4 unit is the unit itself, including a USB cable, a power distribution board good for passing current for up to eight motors as well as all of your PWM signals, a GPS compass module and mounting kit, a bag of goodies that includes soft double stick mounting pads for the PixHawk unit to reduce vibrations, right angle headers for all of your PWM stuff, an I squared C splitter board, and a fistful of interface cables for various ports and other optional peripherals for the PixHawk. And the wire is super nice too, really soft and supple stuff. Maybe it's silicone, I can't really tell, but it's a really nice cable. And while they give you all of these cables for all these optional peripheral items, uh, it really is a standalone kit. Everything that you need to get up and running is already in the box. The PixHawk 4 unit itself sports a long list of tasty parts, among them, an STM32F765 ARM Cortex-M7 running at 216 megahertz, dual IMUs including an Invensense ICM20689 and a Bosch BMI 055, an IST8310 magnetometer from iCentec, an MS5611 pressure sensor from Measurement Specialties, and a U-Blox Neo M8 GPS module. And you had to notice all of the ports on the front of the case for a bunch of different peripheral options. Now, as I was saying earlier, the PX4 Autopilot is part of a larger ecosystem called Drone Code. Now, also under Drone Code is an application called Q Ground Control. Q Ground Control is your interface to the PX4 Autopilot and the PixHawk 4. Manual flight mode. Through Q Ground Control, you can update your firmware, configure your vehicle, calibrate your sensors, set up your operational modes, mission planning, and with the optional 915 MHz radio telemetry kit, you can track your missions live right on the screen. Now, we don't currently carry the radio telemetry kit, so if you have an interest in that, please say so, and we will get it on the storefront as soon as possible. But one of the greatest features of the PixHawk 4 and drone code is that it's an open source project, which means that if it can't do what you need it to do out of the box, all the source code is available for you to customize and tailor to your specific needs. That's right, it is a full UAV development platform. So not only is it great if you're a hobbyist or a tinkerer, but if you are uh, an aerospace student or an engineering student or you're part of a student group and you're developing a UAV application, this is really the platform you want to go with. So. Check it out at sparkfun.com today! I've already lost my train of thought. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> well, I'm running through it in my head so I can you know, say it. Damn it. <laughs> Autopilot, no. <laughs> Full development platform. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Now, as I was saying earlier, <laughs>